name is John Maeda. I was lucky to have studied technology when it was a foreign thing. I went into design after that. I got my MBA. Uh, I was a professor at MIT and now president of a college. I think it's great to see so many South Africans who are curious about design and the impact of creativity in our world. I spoke about the impact of design and technology to the leadership space. But leadership, what does it look like? How do creative people learn how to lead? How, does, how do creative people lead? How is that possible? Because creative people are usually kind of flaky, they say. Um, how does someone lead as a creative person? Well, the impact of design and technology in the leadership space is that uh, many organizations are looking to become more agile, to learn how to respond to the volatile conditions of today. And bringing a design frame and technology frame can expand organizations' potentials. This is what most organizations look like. The pyramid has people at the bottom and, and has a leader at the top. The leader at the top is saying, you know, on a clear day, we can see forever, you know, because we're at the top. And then people like in the middle are saying, oh, I can't see, move over. I, I, I got to get up there kind of thing. And the people at the very bottom are saying, you know, boy, I wish I was up there. And this is the classical hierarchical organization. What happened if you turned the pyramid upside down? What would it become? It would become a plum tree. The plum tree, um, you have top management is the trunk. Isn't that the top? Top management brings in the resources into the tree. And the tree at the top, people who make the stuff get to see forever because they need the resources. They're doing the quote unquote real work. And the roots are just resources coming into the corporation. And this was a very simple, almost simplistic idea, but it's one that I believe guides a lot of how I think about leadership today. Well, I think that academia has always been able to serve an important role in advancing civilization. Now that role is being questioned. I think business was able to function in a very predictable way, and now that's also been questioned. What I'm trying to do is to figure out um, how technology and design and the arts sort of intersect in meaningful ways. The IBM logo uh, is an example of visionary scientific leader who believed that design was important. And uh, uh, the IBM logo, by the way, is designed by a man named Paul Rand. And in 1996, um, I invited Paul Rand to give a talk at the Media Lab. And it was his last talk, his last public talk. And, um, he just talked about design. I was interviewing him about what is design. And, and he had always had these great definitions of design. He had so many versions of them. Uh, design is a method of putting form and content together. Design, just as art, has multiple definitions. There is no single definition. Design can be art. Design can be aesthetics. Design is so simple. That's why it's so complicated. And of course, I asked them the question, well, what is the difference in good and bad design? He said a bad design is irrelevant. It is superficial, pretentious, basically like all the stuff you see out there today. <laughs> like that. I think that um, technology and design have also played a certain role in making things work better, but making confusion work better doesn't make the world work better. So it's now gonna take different kinds of leaders to make all these things come together. In the old days, leaders used to get to lead. Leaders controlled information. Middle management controlled information. Middle management controlled the ability to train people and move up in the hierarchy. Whereas in today's world, it's changed. The leader uh, has people, quote unquote followers, who can find stuff out. And they can say things like, if I'm armed with the facts, I know what's best. I don't need training or a title. I can figure this out better than the person at the top. I think that creativity is important for a better world because um, right now we're looking for new solutions and I think that those new solutions have to come from creative people. Uh, but creative people have to become more empowered leaders today. That is my message. <laughs>